Debugging an Algorand smart contract is easy using the Teal Debugger, a suite of command line and browser-based tools. From the Algorand developer portal, search for Hello World and locate the example approval program we'll be debugging. Start by copying the source code into the IDE of your choosing. Here we paste it into VS Code. We'll save it up and I'll tell you a little bit about this three-part program. At first we're going to read from global state. We use the app global get command to search for the key counter. Next we're going to increment that value by one and then use the app global put command to store that value back into the global state. Last we'll return. Open a terminal window and we'll take a look at our first command. We need to construct the application call transaction. The goal command line tool allows us to write out a dry run request object to a file. Use the dry run dump flag and specify a JSON file. Execute this command and we'll take a look at the snapshot this command created. The dry run request object is required for debugging. It's a snapshot of the network state for both the accounts and the applications specified within the application call transaction included below. The tldbg command is a CLI tool which spawns an endpoint for the Chrome debugging tool to connect to for visual debugging. It requires both the program source code and the dry run request objects we generated earlier. When we execute the tldbg command, it provides some useful URLs for us to connect to. Note the DevTools URL here, which you can copy and paste directly into your URL, or you can also use the Chrome Inspect tab here. If you don't see it under Remote Target automatically, make sure you check under Configure and add port 9392 to your local host, and it'll show up. Once it's running, you can click Inspect, and we'll see that we have our source code here that we saw earlier. What we want to do now is look under scope and we're going to expand the app global part to see that we have the value of three for our current state of the counter and we also have an empty stack. Values within scope all came from the dry run request object and values on the left are the source code that we read indirectly. Let's set a breakpoint here and we'll run through up to the point where we uh, added our incrementer and now you can step through one at a time if you would like. What we'll do is add one and we will notice that we popped and pushed back a new value of four. So we've increased our value here, our stack length remains at two and also our counter value in the global space remains as three. Now we're going to store that value off for use a little bit later. So now we see that we've stored it off to scratch space. And the next thing we're going to do is actually update the global state. So we'll app global put and we will watch the counter value increase to four. Notice now that we're left with an empty stack. We can't end the program successfully that way. So we've got to go back and load that value from scratch space once again. Notice that we have one positive value and a stack length of one. This will end up being a successful program execution. Learn more about how easy it is to begin debugging your smart contracts using the Teal Debugger. Head over to the Algorand Developer Portal and search for debugging to find great articles, tutorials, and reference documentation.